Hi, it's Lisa Mies, and today I want to talk a little bit about the group snuggle events. I started holding these in January. I love them. They're so much fun. They're really very relaxing. It's not the kind of fun where you're like riding go-karts or roller coasters. It's kind of fun where you're hanging out with kind-hearted people. Maybe there is some snuggling. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. But universally, I always ask people how they feel, where they're at, kind of their state at the beginning of the event and at the end of the event. And so far, people leave more relaxed and in a better state of mind than they came in. So I think they're great events. Uh, the reason I'm making a video is to explain the two different types of events that I have. One of the types of events, and my next one of these is in uh, a week and a half, it's called Open Snuggles, and it's open to anybody who wants to attend. Um, they run for a couple of hours, I start at uh, 6.30 on a Friday night. The next one is November 8th. The one after that is December 10th. Um, or I have that backwards. November 10th and December 8th, I think. Uh, but the second Friday in each of the next two months, I have an open snuggles event. I'd love for you to come out and attend it, no matter who you are. The reason I'm making a video today about this is that I also have a second type of snuggle event, and that one is called Relaxing Snuggles for Women. And I feel like I need to make a video, even though I've been having these for a couple of months, to point out to people that I'm not kidding. And the reason I think that is true is I have had several different guys recently either RSVP to one of these events or message me to ask if I will make an exception to them and allow them into these events. And I want to be really clear that that's not going to happen. You're welcome to ask, um, although if asking drifts over into sea lioning, then I'm just not going to engage with you. And if you don't know what sea lioning is, then you have a fun thing to Google for later. Um, but the reason I started holding the relaxing snuggles for women is that I had a lot of women tell me they were uncomfortable in a co-ed environment. And so I thought I would try this. I think it might also be true that there are some men who are uncomfortable in a co-ed environment, but I can't hold a uh, male only snuggle events because I am not a male. Um, and I want to shout out here for a second and say, I know the language around all of this is very challenging. Um, and I hope that you will understand where I'm coming from and what I'm getting at, even if my words are not exactly right. I'm trying to figure out exactly the right language on this, but I'm sure I don't have it perfect. But the bottom line is the events that are for women are for women and for femmes, and they are not for guys. And so guys, if you try to show up at the door, I'm going to turn you away. If you try to make this into a joke as a way to try and loophole around it, I'm not going to be amused. Um, this is really a boundary, and it's a very clear boundary. Again, if it's not clear to you, you can ask me, and I will do everything I can to make it clear to you. And this work of engaging with people in a cuddling way is very much about helping people understand boundaries. Because when you get good at accepting the boundaries of the people around you, your life gets better. I'm not going to say it gets easier because sometimes people have a boundary you don't like. You want them to do a thing. They don't want to do it. That means you don't get to do it with them. So that might suck once in a while, but I have to tell you, that if you're trying to build a trusting relationship, whether it's romantic, sexual, or just a friendship, or even a professional relationship, you cannot do it without respecting the boundaries of the other people involved in that relationship. So think of this as an opportunity to respect somebody's boundaries. And, you know, I believe it is Cheryl, uh, Oh, who wrote Love Warrior? I'm going to get it wrong. I'm going to say Cheryl Moulton, and that's a yoga teacher. Um, anyway, the, she uses the, and I committed I was going to post this version, so all of this messing up is going live on the internet. But regardless of that, she calls it uh, AFGO, another freaking growth opportunity. So if you don't like this boundary and you want to show up, don't do it. Consider it an AFGO and come the following week and come to one of the open snuggle events. Thanks for listening and have a great day.